day eight of the most insane knockout series we've done to date. And as you saw last time, we achieved the improbable winning with the quacker after endless attempts. And now I have no idea what to use anymore. Winning is hopeless. But the good news is we already have almost 24 names on the leaderboard already, which means the largest invitational yet is right around the corner. Be sure to like the video to support the series and check out the playlist below for every single knockout tournament. Ooh, coin heaven, hopefully you get to rewrite the memories here on this first track. And we have an absolutely stacked first event. Enmead joined the knockout series and Roxy, the champion of the 99999CC knockout invitational is finally playing 200cc 24 player. I'm sure we'll see some crazy vehicles from her. So how is Enmead gonna do on 200cc? Is not his forte, not something he really has much practice on. And he ended up opting to go Flame Runner over Mach Bike, which is super interesting. So uh, yeah, as you guys know, we're on the, the Magic Cruiser now. I have deemed this to be the next best shot I have at a point, although I don't think we're gonna get a point with Magic Cruiser before this tournament series ends. I do think that if we end up doing a carding day for daytime, which a lot of you guys want that, it's, it's in the cards right now. We might end up doing a carding day on day 10, especially if we have over 24 players qualified already. We'll have some fun on the last day. And that that's very possible to get another point. I could see myself having a good run with the Mini Beast or even the Classic Dragster. So still a lot of excitement to be had on the tournament series. You know, we're, we're getting down to it here. I mean, the Invitational is right around the corner. It really creeps up on you fast. And this thing is very bouncy. Just like that, we're in extreme trouble. And it's actually a great spot to get shocked. Machutino is on the sprinter! What is Machutino doing? That's actually so hype. I do not want to get squished. Okay, this is good. Me being slow worked out there. I'm, I'm off the edge. I'm probably out. This is really bad. Oh my gosh! Not even close. This is gonna be a common theme. Wow, bumped off three times or something like that. I do not know how I'm gonna even make it to final 12 with this thing. It is gonna be brutal. All right, I will see you guys at the finals. I'm rooting for Nicholas. He got 13th, he's still in it. Let's see how this goes. Missing out on such an amazing finale course. We have Rez. New player to the tournament series, I believe, on Daisy Mock Bike versing former winner Hafer, who has a point with the Mock Bike and trying to get his second point so he doesn't have to qualify going through the tiebreaker to make the invitational. Ooh, Rez clearly knows what he's doing. Pulls off the big 200cc shortcut and he's going for some other shortcut. I don't know what just happened. It might be some lag. And he has a sizable four to five second lead over Hafer and he just hit the wall. He's not opting for shortcut. Let's watch Rez's perspective, who has two bonus items, and it seems to be a runaway, although all it takes is one shortcut fail and things get interesting quick. So getting the boost from the trick, compounding it into the trick boost here, you're able to do the shortcut shroomless, and it is a massive time save. This is gonna be essential for the Invitational, considering almost everyone's gonna be on mock bike, and I guarantee this track will be one of the options. It's funny how the view Finder gets really messed up on this three, this like 360, or it's like a 270 degree roundabout. Yeah, it's really, really jumping everywhere. Okay, so Hafer, pretty much out of it. And this track in 1v1s seems to give a lot of runaway races. Almost every time we've had it in the finals, the race has not been close because one person pulls off the shortcut and the other doesn't or doesn't go for it. And it seems to be a common story. In fact, I would say this track has shown up the most in the final round from the randomizer of any track out of all 96 that are available for the tournament series. Hey, forgets triple mushrooms from the bonus. It is not gonna be enough. Three, two, one, Rez is the champion. We have a new winner and just like that, I don't know how many names exactly we are on, but I think it's somewhere around 23 or 24. And people were doubting that we were going to even get 24 names after 10 days with 50 events, but it happened. Congrats to Rez, event number two coming up. I think I'm gonna try a cart. We have spent almost this entire tournament series on low tiers and today will be no different. We exhausted all the best vehicles on day one and we've just been trying to figure out anything that is remotely viable. Like, 
that's why the carding day was really nice after playing so many days that felt like impossible. Like, today's feeling the same way, so I, I had to mix it up and <laughs> use the 99999cc meta. We're on the Wario bike because the Magic Cruiser just wasn't happening. I gave it quite a few tries. I never was able to even make the final 12, and I'm kind of giving up on the Magic Cruiser. I want to see if the Wario bike can yield better results. So, I really miss being able to use Mach Bike, Flame Runner, even Dolphin Dasher was a treat. <laughs> and, I mean, this late into the tournament series, 75% of the racers are still on the top tiers. So, it's not going to get any easier because so many good players have joined later in the tournament series. And it's been harder than expected. But not only is Nick back, we also have Ederbeer who has the most points on the leaderboard out of all the competitors with five. And I'm really curious to see what vehicle Ederbeer is on, considering we're on the same situation here, both with five wins. And I don't think anyone's gonna catch Ederbeer. Machutino has three points, Ederbeer has five. So he's probably gonna be the season champion. And just like that, Cal on Flame Runner just hits me if one of his revolving green shells and I'm in the middle. But it says free round, there must have been four disconnections because otherwise it would not say that. This is just for points right now. So at least we know we're surviving, but never like to see that many disconnections. This game mode has a lot more glitchiness to it than other game modes we've done for the tournament series. Ooh, not bad, not bad. But we still had to do a series on it because it's just so cool it even exists in the first place. Who knows how many Mario Kart additions there will be before there's a 24 player option. It might never happen. I know F-Zero had like 30 players per race, but Mario Kart, it's always been eight and then 12 when we came out, they never went more than 12. Who knows? Who knows what the next Mario Kart has in store for us? Matthew, Kavi, Ems, Luca, all out by disconnection. We got 13 points, so we need 12 more to get another bonus. We got Enmead getting sixth place, 19 points. Let's see what the next track is. I think that Ederbeer is on the Sneakster and everyone else is on top tiers. I see a bullet bike, so, you know, we're, we're facing first, second, and third best vehicles from every player, and then we have Ederbeer, who is on the same boat as us. I don't know what's better, Sneakster or Wario Bike. I mean, if Ederbeer does well with the Sneakster, I'm, I'm gonna switch to Sneakster. It might be better than Magic Cruiser. In my head, I was like, I don't think that's viable at all, but it really just depends what tracks show up. All right, we're in trouble, as per usual. It's gonna feel really weird on the Invitational when I get to be on Mach Bike again. Yes, perfect chain. Come on. Come on. I think I survived. Oh, it was so close. Someone passed me with a bullet right as I hit the finish line. Oh, it's gonna be so close. I don't think I survived. Yeah, 17th. Oh, so close. I, I must have got eliminated by pixels, seriously. Because on my screen I got 16th, but it's always a little bit of lag. So I saw the bullet pass me at like a million miles an hour, and just like that, I am eliminated. But Nicholas is in first overall, so I'm rooting for Nick to make it to the finals yet again. Okay, let's go. Once again, Flame Runner versus Mach Bike, and we have Hafer in the finals versus G A M T Eric. Very similar situation. I mean, Hafer once again with a little bit of a disadvantage. Both players opt not to do the U-turn shortcut, despite Eric being on Mach Bike. I assume we'll see someone. Presumably Eric go for shortcut on lap two considering I mean it's very doable with mock bike. It's a little bit tough with flame runner I don't blame Hafer for not going for it, but it looks like Eric has the lead and Hafer has some ammo Is he gonna be able to capitalize just red shell after red shell? Oh, oh, it looks like that's a mistake. You know, we have laggy replays It's kind of hard to decipher what's actually happening like I've said before, but Eric definitely gained some time and it wasn't because of the drift stat It is mainly because Eric uh, Hafer hit some sort of wall in the middle of the level and is chaining a mega mushroom into a mushroom and now i mean oh okay 
Hafer uses the mushroom. I was gonna say hold the mushroom, pivot at the shortcut, use the mushroom, save a second or two. And instead, it's interesting, they're taking completely different routes. It makes sense Eric would take this route because it's a super sharp corner, the Mokbite can make it work. But was it worth it? I don't know. Hafer and Eric are practically even now. It seems like Eric lost some time and Hafer has a mushroom to potentially do the shortcut at the end and get the win. Oh, Eric got squished by the egg. And Hafer is gonna take this one home. Second time's the charm. And Hafer beasting it today, getting to the finals twice and getting a point on the leaderboard. Congrats to Hafer, qualifying for the Invitational officially. And now he has to go bullet bike or something. And I think I'm at the point now, considering how like the last five or six events have gone since I won with the Quacker, where it is completely impossible to win with any of the remaining vehicles. In fact, Ederbeer has the exact same five points that I have with the same five vehicles. So I think we're just gonna go the mock bike and get practice in, even though I won't be able to get points on the leaderboard, just to make things more fun for me and for you guys watching at home. As we know for how these KO series work, Whoever gets to the finals versus me automatically gets a point. So it doesn't matter what vehicle I use. I just play to get as many points as possible for fun, but it's not possible to get points anymore. There's way too many extremely high level players that still have the mock bike and flame runner. There's no way I'm even making it to the quarterfinals, let alone winning an event with the remaining vehicles. The mock bike, however, we can, we can make it pretty far. <laughs> I have faith. Oh my gosh. I thought I could make it past that. Wow. It has been so long since I've played these tracks on 200cc. And we're getting back spammed. Cool. Same story, different race, different game. Always getting back spammed in Mario Kart. A tale as old as time itself. And we're pushed into the car. Let's go get the mushroom. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I get hit any more times than this? I, I feel... <laughs> I feel helpless. I cannot believe what is happening. I am fighting to survive. I survived. I am speechless. I don't think I've been hit more times than that in a race. I like can't believe it. Wow, enemy got out first race and I think that paints the picture for what we just went through. 30 FPS Moonview Highway with 24 players on 200cc is about as crazy as it gets. Someone on the Flame Flyer, everyone else mock bike, Ederbeer trying to get to six points with the Sneakster, respect, and... You know, we got a couple bullet bikes, which is cool. Bullet bike, definitely doable. Drifts really tight. I'm just gonna go for an item. I'm super far behind. Starting in the back is not great on these short tracks. And I got so much air, I could not drift. Okay, at least I didn't get bombed. I don't even want a wheelie. I. I just, what is going, what is this? Like, what is this game we're playing? <laughs> this was a terrible idea, doing a series on this. This isn't even Mario Kart. This makes 99999cc seem tame. Oh, beautiful. Okay, well, I snapped myself on the line. This is torture. This is probably a series we will never do again. End of story. Chloe, Amiibo, Rez, Starfly out, final 16. 
Wow, second place is on the flame flyer. I cannot believe my eyes. What, what? <laughs> oh, it's police. Oh, that's so cool. Unbelievable. Well, I mean, now that I survived the first race, I have a chance to make it far here. Yeah, I mean, we're on mock bike, so anything's possible. Look at it, it's, it's completely busted. That was actually not bad. Not great, but it worked out. I feel like I've completely forgot how to play 200cc at this point. Just firing, firing. Oh, it didn't connect. I'm a little afraid to wheelie. Yeah, I'm a little afraid to do anything. Great. All right, that saves me. That really helps me. I was in, in so much trouble. I'm at least back in it now. I'm just gonna use this into the wall and then use another mushroom. A blooper. Had to go that way. Didn't want to get bulleted. That would have been a GG. We're still living. We're still living. I'm in so much trouble. It's over. It's over! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Yes! I think I survived. Oh my gosh. I think police, I feel so bad, but police got screwed over and I eliminated someone on a cart, just barely, and I survived. That shock must have got police in the mud and it got me after the boost panel and I just barely made it to the last one to get to the trick ramp, to get the trick boost to survive. I only have 26 points, but we made it to the final 12. I am playing on borrowed time. That is all. And look at Etterbeer still in it with the Sneakster. Love to see it. Major respect. I mean, no one's no one's making it to five besides Etterbeer. Like, Machutino has three. I mean, he could still make it there, but very few people even have a chance to get to five with how little events are left. After this event, there's only 12 left for the entire tournament series. Okay, messed that up a little bit. I'm just gonna hold this and go wide. Just try to take different lines so I don't get back spammed. Looks like Home Depot got screwed over a bit there. I have a bonus item, it might be a good idea to bring it out pretty soon. I'll hold it a little longer. Just don't want to get started here. Let's see what we get in sixth. One mushroom, that's not really that good. Come on, come on, don't put enemy. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. He laid the fake item box in the last corner, but I went, I went wide, just wide enough to survive. And that is, that, that is a photo finish. Like, 12th was way back there, but 11 through five finished within a second of each other. Cal, the point leader eliminated. Hafer, the former champion out. Malware, the greatest 200cc player of all time out. And Coop eliminated. That was a heavy hitting round. And now we get to the double elimination part of the series. Feels so much more fun to be on mock bike, but wow, these are stressful. Top two Yoshi mock bike, let's go. And it's all mock bikes, but I think there's one non mock bike. Don't have too much time to pay attention. Gotta focus on the race. Ooh, little gap jump over the water. We're in first, let's go. And I feel like this is more of a frowning track than people think considering you can do the shortcut trimless very easily on 200cc as opposed to 150 where the shortcut is not free. Shortcut is very important. Beautiful, that could screw someone. I have a breakaway and a bonus item. Hopefully getting to two bonus items after this race. I missed some meter bows, that's not good. Oh, clutch, let's go.
Ooh, that was nice. I just have a slight lead, but um, there's a lot of players falling really far behind. It's like a top three breakaway with me, Eric, and Fish Prism. This track is made for 200cc. It is glorious. It plays so well on 200. On 150, it's a little overscale, but still a good track. I'm gonna still be able to get second this race. Let's see how this goes. Beautiful. Alright, I'm good. Second, I'll take it. I missed the last boost panel. If I hit it, I could have potentially got first, but just had to make sure I didn't stay right behind Eric, because then I could have got back spammed and had the whole entire pack pass me right at the end. 49 points, unfortunately I don't get another bonus, but one should be enough, and it looks like Etterbeer and Electric Dragon out, final six. Yoshi top two again, let's go Eric, all right. Let's see here, red shell please? Mushroom, even better. But I gotta watch out for the fake item box, of course. And there it is. Might as well just use this then. Great pull. Might as well use one just to secure the shortcut and break drift and no, I didn't get my spin drift out in time. Okay, now I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm okay with this respawn. I should pull mushrooms. Or a golden, even better. I have to hit this wall so I don't fly off the edge. We're okay, we're okay. It's not been a pretty start, I'll tell you that much. Come on. Mushroom? No. All right, well maybe I can screw the people going for the shortcut. Yeah, I'm in a good spot because the two Marios are pretty far back there and a mushroom is really good. I should probably just use it now. That was a bad mistake. It's pretty close. People could backspam any second. Definitely don't feel safe right now. Bridge is down, which helps a little bit. Oh, I gotta hold this. Gotta hold this till I need it. This is my golden ticket to the final four. Gotta use it now. Can't be messing around with the triple greens. Okay, I did not expect to hit that wall at all, but we're gonna be okay. <sighs> Second place, Home Depot with a runaway first place. And it looks like Eric, the other Yoshi gets fourth after getting multiple top spot finishes. Looks like the people eliminated are gonna be Fish Prism and Chez. We have the final four. Kavi in the final four who has yet to get a point. Home Depot who I believe does not have a point has a chance as well. We have a lot of people that don't have points. Who's gonna get the point? We have 24 names on the leaderboard but it is soon to be 25. So that was correct. Nobody in the remaining final four of the competitors have points. Home Depot, Kavi, and Eric, all at zero, although they've made it far before, just haven't been able to seal the deal <sighs> dirty. So <laughs> it's just a mock bike final four here, and if I make it to the finals, then we will already know who gets the point, so we'll see if we can pull it off here. I'll just use a bonus, see what we get. That's a good pull. I'm not getting any item here, but we're gonna hang on to the star for a moment. I do not mind burning both my bonuses to secure a finals appearance. Okay, red shell's coming my way. I'm gonna use my bonus. Let's see what I get. That's pretty good. I need to get this item though. Good, good. All right, a little behind, but this is an amazing item to get. Can use it. Just gotta get away. This is so busted. I can escape all of his shells right now. I 
think I, I think I made it to the finals. <laughs> yes. That was so close. I got a reddit on the boost panel and I used my mushroom and I just soared to the finish line. It released my main turbo in midair just to get that extra little bit of distance. And Eric out in first place overall. Kavi also eliminated. Home Depot gets the point. And now a ceremonial last race. This track and the one with the super fast trains, I think it's called Spectral Station, are the ones I have like the layout down the least. It's not like a complicated track, but I feel like it all looks similar and it's hard for me to memorize it for some reason. Just wanna make sure I don't do any stupid mistakes. This is intense right now. Oh my gosh. Actually worked out really well. And I did just kind of waste that mushroom, but it's okay. Oh, shortcut. Make sure I don't overshoot that. There's another shortcut somewhere over here. I think it, I think I just passed it. It's okay. Pretty much dead even with me. We're like dead even. <sighs> what a battle. What a battle. Home Depot, a well-deserved point on the leaderboard, and we end up pulling out the win with the mock bike. Two for three with the mock bike. I started with the mock bike and made it to the finals and lost. Then I won with the next event uh, on day one, managed to get three points on day one, got bullet bike and flame runner first try. And the mock bike is clearly the meta on 200cc, but for the rest of today, I'm gonna try the sneakster. I think Etterbeer has proved to me that the sneakster is possible to make a run with. This is gonna be an entirely different Toad's Factory experience. Granted, I almost got illuminated with the mock bike on this track. It was miraculous how I survived Toad's Factory and Moonview Highway on the last KO. But now, considering that Etterbeer is going strong here, trying to get a six point with the Sneakster, we have to give the Sneakster a try. We got Machutino back in the room. He has three points. Mpex is on the Sneakster. I think Mpex has two or three points, I forget. And wow, I did not expect there to be multiple Sneaksters. We might have three Sneaksters in this room. Hopefully I don't get starred. Enmeet is back in the room. Let's go. Enmeet's probably going to play at all five today. I hope he gets a point. It's going to be interesting because, uh, you know, I mean, Nick doesn't play 200cc ever. So he's really got to adjust to it. It's, it's a big adjustment. This is a completely different game than 150cc. Let's throw this back potential. Oh, no, my red didn't connect. Just going to get this box. Ooh, Brody stole it. Okay. It's just chaos. We're surviving somehow. I'm not wheeling anymore. I'm just gonna go wide. The item boxes respawn really fast on 24 player, just not fast enough to get them a lot of the times. Okay. I'm just gonna use it. It's gonna end up in the mud. Beautiful. Great pull. I got this now. Nick's in second, okay. We're good, we're good. First, first with the sneakster, we got the bam shock dodge. Two people, uh, and me and someone else must have hit each other on the conveyor belt or the the tractor section 
I guess they're bulldozers. I always call them tractors. I don't think they're tractors. I should know this after 15 years. 30 points, bonus item, 20 more to get the second one. Looks like Nick ended up getting sixth. So pretty catastrophic ending. But at the bottom of the leaderboard, we have Starfly, Caden, Bandito, Hollow, Iris, Eliminated, Final 20. This is the best random I could ever ask for. I can definitely front run this. And you can't take anything for granted whatsoever on this game mode, especially in these first few races. Everything can come crashing down in an instant. I don't know how that red didn't hit me. That should have hit me. Okay, great start. Connected the banana, huge. Have a little bit of a breakaway now. Looks like I hit Eric. Boss Boy is behind me. I'm throwing another item back. The tracks are so short, the chance of a blue shell is not very big. I should be able to get to the finish line before a blue shell comes. Especially with all the boost panels, you can dodge blue shells with the boost panels on 200. Like, no problem. Okay, now there can definitely be a blue. No, we're good, we're good. Okay, yeah, first place, 54 second race. Just the perfect sneakster track. I mean, doesn't get much better than that. All right, everyone is finished. Super close as per usual. And the results are in. Oh, Nicholas out on the Ouija circuit. You just hate to see it happen. Guitar Man, Fart Reveal, Hype Speed YouTube eliminated, Final 16. This is pretty good for the Snickster. I can make this work. The ending is not gonna be fun, but the rest, doable. And you know, we got MPEX on the Snickster as well. So I'm not the only Snickster still in it but I do have a Mega Thundercloud and I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna make sure of it. I'm going way out here. Beautiful, I'm not gonna go for shortcut. I'm gonna play safe and smart. There's still a lot of players left, which means people do fall far behind. Gotta take advantage of that and just get ahead while I can. I'm extremely happy to get past the first two races. The first couple are the most difficult. So this bodes well for me. Just need to keep getting tracks that don't have difficult corners. It's okay. This is great, yeah. And another mushroom. I don't think I wanna go for shortcut. I think my best play is just to hold this. Just to hold this for a while and then use it at the shortcut where the Gyarados is. Oh, that's awful. I just have to use it early. Can't be messing around. And we could break drift this part, so it's not horrific. It's, just, it's not good though, it's not good. You can see how much time I'm losing here. All right, so still in fourth. Should I do a Hail Mary Bomb Snipe or should I throw it back? I think we're just gonna throw it back right here where people don't see it. I don't think it connected. I think it tried to hit Boss Boy, unfortunately. This is really scary. Yeah, that's, that's bad. I, I'm gonna use my bonus. I gotta use it. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Go. Go, go, go. Yes. I spam my bonus items and I survived. <laughs> Pulled triple mushrooms. I would have not survived if I didn't use my bonus. That is why bonus items matter. I needed every bonus I could get to survive. 13th through 16th, look who just got eliminated. Multiple former champions. We got Police, Kavi, Grantworth, and Cal eliminated. Final 12, we're sitting at 62 points right now. Unbelievable. This is a pretty good Snakester track. It looks like first place is a Dolphin Dasher. Really interesting, I don't know who that is. And we got Brody in the room with the Madrakuzer. I have so much respect for Brody using Madrakuzer in this tournament series, considering how I could not even make the final 12 in three or four Madrakuzer attempts. So Brody is a legend for even attempting it all the different KOs, all the different days. Sticking to Magic Cruiser no matter what, not opting for anything else, just trying to pull off the impossible. If anyone wins a Magic Cruiser, it would be the most miraculous win of the season, undoubtedly. So far, I mean, two Quacker wins, and those are the most wild wins so far. There's, there's been nothing crazy. It hasn't been like the 150cc tournament series where we had Roxy win on the Super Blooper. Nothing of that nature happened. And I don't think we're gonna see anything like that ever again. <sighs> this is unfortunate though. I just lost so much time there. We're still in it though, we're still in it. This is 
playable with the sneak shirt. I can I can make this work. I am so done. I just can't drift. I, I really overestimated this thing. Okay, hang on. If I pull the bullet bill, if I pull the bullet bill, I'm still in it. Come on, come on, come on. That's not the bullet. Oh! How did I do that? You can't even drift with this thing. You can't even drift. That was insanity. That'll never happen again. That was my best comeback of the whole tournament series. Sixth place. Fred, Eric, Rez, Luca out, final eight. Is someone on the sugar scoot in first? No, Sneakster. Oh, it's Mpex. Okay, okay. I, th I thought that was the sugar scoot. So we have a Sneakster and we have a Magic Cruiser still in it, not including myself. So I actually do have a chance on this one. Like seriously, I do have a chance. Not a big chance, but a chance nonetheless. How am I supposed to make these corners? Never mind. How, 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 how am I supposed to play this? I've played this one a couple times now. And this was voted in by the Bodation Nation. People really wanted this track. I did not pick this track. <laughs> but it's not a bad one. It's just tough. It's really tough. Ooh. I should probably go this way. I don't know. That looks like it's mud. Yeah, definitely went the right way. Spoon shortcut. Gotta love it. And it's taking me bottom route. Okay. We're doing okay right now. This is exactly what I needed. My only chance is to dodge shock, but I need to make sure I get the most out of this bullet or else it's not gonna even matter if I dodge. I need to use the slap three. Brody might have it, I'm just gonna use it. He could easily have it. It's a terrible, it's a terrible bullet. Where's the finish? There it is, everyone's finished. No shock. Okay, so I needed to save that bullet and use it at a much better spot at the end. I don't think it would have been enough. I just fell really far behind. But look at this, Mpex made the final six with the Sneakster, Machitino in first overall, Brody and myself eliminated, and let's see who makes it to the end. It's gonna be really interesting. This is fascinating. We have Machitino with three points, could get to four, could get in striking distance of Ederbeer, which is absolutely insane. I cannot believe that, I mean, you know, Machitino making it to the end with the Dolphin Dasher, incredible. But Mpex is in the finals right now with the Sneakster and he's winning. I'm gonna have to use Sneakster again if Mpex wins. I'm gonna have to use Sneakster on day nine also. I am mind blown right now. Mpex looks like he's probably gonna pull this off and these were not easy tracks for the Sneakster. That Ice Cream Fortress track does not function well with the Sneakster at all. That felt impossible. I've got eliminated twice using the Sneakster. I think both times I used the Sneakster, I got eliminated on that track, which is funny but Machitino is flying into the abyss on the anti-gravity corner and looks like it's lag though because now he is back in it and rounding the last corner. Mm, probably didn't get the moon jump though. So uh, yeah, Mpex is looking at a five plus second lead. It's not over though. You can fall off and get horrific respawns on this track. Machitino could easily pull a blue shell and blue Mpex off the edge. That's possible. And he has the faster combo on this game mode. No question. The Dolphin Dasher can actually make the corners while the Sneakster, you have to break drift all the time to make it work. Okay, so we can't really tell what's going on. The lag is <laughs> hilarious, but it does look like Machutino is pretty far back. I, I think it's semi-accurate. So it, it does look like Machutino is, yeah, just riding the last corner. Mpex has got this. Machutino fell off twice, I'm pretty sure. So. This is gonna be the most impressive win of the whole tournament. Nobody else has won with the Sneakster. 
I guess I shouldn't speak too soon. It's technically not over. I guess Machutino could pull a blue shell and get Mpex off on the anti-gravity corner. It's not technically over, but <laughs> it looks pretty much over now. So there's been two wins with the Quacker, me and Ederbeer. There's been a couple wins with the Bullet Bike, of course. Everything else has been Flame Runner and Mock Bike, and then like two or three Dolphin Dashers. Zero Sneaksters until right now. Mpex pulls off the victory, wins a knockout tournament with the Sneakster with only 83 points. Probably the most impressive KO out of 39 KOs and someone won with the Sneakster. Of course, it was Mpex. Congrats to Mpex. Just like that, he has three points on the leaderboard. Mpex and Machutino knocking on the door to win the season here, going into the Invitational. Ederbeer still has five. I cannot believe my eyes, guys. I cannot believe it. I'm gonna try Daisy Sneakster instead of Mario Sneakster. Just full send the speed stat. Try to do the Shroomless shortcut at the beginning, break away, and hopefully finish in a top five spot and not have to deal with any craziness. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, I couldn't get the Major Bot in time. All right, we're gonna definitely lose a lot of spots here. And still a pretty good spot though. I mean, fifth place, I'll take it. I have to use Sneakster after what I just witnessed. Sneakster is playable and doable. It's really going to depend on the tracks, but I mean, like I said, the fact that Mpex just won on plenty of unfavorable Sneakster tracks shows that, who knows, maybe I just wasn't giving the Sneakster a fair chance and it might be even better than the Quacker. There's no way it's better than the Dolphin Dasher. Like, Machutino fell off a few times. He should have won that. He should have won that, but... Props to Mpex played insanely well on Rainbow Road and every single track in that GP. Alright, the craziest fake item box ever. Roxy is in here on the Wario bike, are you kidding me? Well, I mean, you know, we saw Mpex win with the Sneakster when I completely wrote the Sneakster off and I've already wrote the Wario bike off, so maybe Roxy will prove me wrong right here and make a deep run with the Wario bike, but that is even more impossible. As we know though, Roxy is the best <laughs> Wario bike player ever, so. Nothing would su surprise me at this point. Yeah, we're really doing well here with the Sinkster. Like, this is a good spear track, so I'm not surprised the Sinkster can make it happen on 200. Just break drifting a lot, and it's working. All right, we just got second place. If I can play that well every single race, I actually have a chance to make another deep run. Malware gets first place, 27 points second, and Wartob, Enmead, Kaden, and Roxy eliminated. If Roxy cannot make it happen with the Wario bike, then I know it's impossible. I don't know about this one on the six year. Just no big mistakes, like don't fall super far behind. <laughs> Mpex on Dolphin Dasher right now, we have Sherbet Land. I mean, he's gonna win this race, we already know that. That was so slidey, I was just going straight and I flew off to the left. Okay, Th this is awful. I'm, I'm doing exactly what I needed to not do. You can't catch up with this thing. I mean, you just can't. I can't make the corners. If I'm goldening, I can't break drift. And there's penguins. What am I supposed to do? I think I'm just gonna gold into the wall a bunch. Let's see how this works out. All right, no, this is working out quite nice. Ooh, clean. All right, no, I have, I have renewed faith in this. That was a great comeback. And we still have plenty of time. Give me my start, give me my start. Oh gosh, 19. There's a Toadette in last, probably a bullet bike, probably not a magic user. Bam! I'm just gonna hold this. Break, 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 break. Unbelievable. Making the impossible happen. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm up here now. Oh, wall bouncing, some Mario Kart 7 strats. Come on, come on. 
Oh, I don't like this. Everyone's gonna get big before me. There's people on stars. Yes, thank you, Brody. Brody just took someone out. We are gonna make it to the finish line. We are surviving Sherbet Land. Wow, what a race. There's three King Boos in the back right now and a Toadette. They are gonna be the players eliminated. So the heavyweights are going down real quick. Flame Runner players, presumably. And we're in the third round with the Sneakster. I mean, this is definitely better. Unequivocally, it's not even close compared to the Magic Cruiser. What else did I use? The classic dragster, the Wario bike. Like, this is doable, guys. This is doable. Res, Hollow Iris, Lugia, Fart Reveal out. Final 16. Just gonna get this item. Or not. This is a good Snakester track. I'm really happy this one showed up. I just need to not fall off. Stay in the middle. Not wheelie too much. Just try to get ahead. This is a great item. Gotta watch out for fake item boxes. Gotta watch out for bumps. But good protection from bananas. I'm not going for shortcut. I'm trying to play smart. Easier said than done. I'm just gonna toss the bomb back. If I can get any space from third, which it looks like I actually have some space right now. I need to take it while I can get it. Okay, there's a green shell. I'm not going for that boost panel. Just gotta take slightly different lines with the sneakster to make it work. Unwanted slip drift, almost fell off the edge. We're living. And a little banana parade at the end there. And I'm getting back green. Great, I really didn't expect him to throw greens back when he's got such a big lead, but here we are. I'm throwing it. I gotta go wide. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna hold this a little bit longer. Probably use it here, yeah. Come on, just stay on the track. I just need to stay on. You can pass me. There's a couple people right next to me. I don't mind if they pass me. I'm not going for shortcut. Just wanna survive. And now I'm in a lot of trouble. I don't wanna be in the middle on this thing. I'm just gonna use my bonus. Let's see what I get. That's great. I'm just gonna keep spamming. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, what? Double bombed! Then starred, are you kidding? That's it. I survived the first bomb only for there to be more? Are you kidding me? All right, I'm, there's no chance I lag two people and survive. Oh, that was unbelievably frustrating. 47 points, I was on tear. I was in fourth overall and I'm eliminated. Fred, Eric, Grantworth also out. Mpex in first place with the Dolphin Dasher. We might see a repeat win from Mpex, but there's lots of great players left in it. I will see you guys at the finals. What a day of Mario Kart. One of the most memorable days of the entire tournament series. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's enjoy one last race. Flame Runner verse is Dolphin Dasher, Mpex in the finals yet again. I called it. This is a great track for the Dolphin Dasher. I'm expecting some shroomless shortcuts. Oh, pokey. Just like that, it's close. Cacti with triple mushrooms. And Mpex doing the shroomless shortcut, which he will be able to take advantage of every single lap. Oh, triple reds is huge. I think these might connect. And Mpex is gonna make sure the second one connects on Cacti also. And just like that, the three mushrooms that Cacti had about to run away with it are gone, and instead he replaces his item with a Mega Mushroom. I'd imagine the best idea would be, oh, he's using it early. I was gonna say chain it at the hill mushrooms, or the hill item boxes and not the trick ramp item boxes, but we have virtually a tie game here. And Mpex is gonna be able to block one red, and it looks like the Fire Snakes took out the other red. Cacti throwing a third red, but I don't think it's gonna reach. I think it hit the palm tree. Blinking red position counter for Cacti. It's gonna take some Hail Mary green shells. And a red is coming Mpex's way. Let's see if anything connects. Cacti throws the bomb. He spams the bonus item. It's another bomb! And it ricochets off the mound and it blows him up. Mpex styling at the finish line. Unbelievable. In the same day, Mpex not only gets the Dolphin Dasher point, which only a handful of people have gotten, but a sneakster point that nobody else has been able to pull off. Mpex might end up winning the season here. Ederbeer still has five, Mpex is at four, 
and we still have two more days of 200cc 24 player to go. So hope you guys enjoyed. The tournament series has been incredible the last few days. Just adrenaline inducing. I still will not forget the ending of Wario's Goldmine today. And smash like, subscribe, check out the playlist. I'll see you guys tomorrow.